Today we're going to be installing a TTR intake manifold on the Ford Focus RS. So here we have the TurboTech Racing intake manifold. It's aluminum construction, fully TIG welded, and comes with built flanges. It does have already some key factors that you need. You have your map sensor and your, some of your factory ports that you do need to plug back in. It also comes with a little bit of extra in case you want to run boost gauges, blow off valve adapters, whatever you want to do. It does have a machine surface here has the cuts for the gaskets as well. And everything is nice and smooth inside, ready to go, ready to bolt on. So here we have the factory Ford Focus RS intake manifold. It is a composite plastic free flowing design and it actually does flow pretty well for the factory boost pressures and also some of the tuning that you can do to up the boost pressures. But when you really start pushing past the maximum, it does help to have a little bit larger intake plenum. We, like I said before, we do have a tune on this car along with a E30 tune that we mainly keep it on. But as soon as we get this installed along with a couple of other things that we will have to retune for. So it'll be interesting to see how it reacts just on the tune that we have now. I do wanna test fit the uh, TTR intake manifold because I'm a little curious if it's gonna be clearing our radium engineering brackets with the catch cans. It should, but if it doesn't, then I'll have to do some modification there. So let's go ahead and remove this and test fit the TTR. I have the factory intake manifold removed. There's a couple of things I've already started on that I do want to show you. So I did have to zip tie the knock sensor connectors. So I zip tied these back as these actually attach to the intake manifold. It doesn't affect anything. The knock sensors are on the engine block. These are just the connector holders that did attach to the factory intake manifold. The TTR does not have a provision for those. So zip tying back is perfectly fine. There's a check valve underneath here that Radium Engineering provides with their baffle kit. So I'm going to actually replace that check valve with the AN fitting check valve so I can convert these to AN lines, which I'll show you here later in this video. Everything else is pretty, pretty straightforward bolt on, but there is one thing I will be doing a modification to, and it is this factory check valve line that goes all the way back here. I will be removing this line and this check valve and I'll be installing it on the intake manifold for a cleaner insulation. You do not need to do this as you can actually set this right back in the factory spot over the intake manifold or zip tie the tube to it. But for this installation, I'm going to create my own hose, reuse this check valve and plug it into one of the ports on the TTR. We have it test fitted and it looks like it's going to clear the catch can perfectly. Might have to reposition the fitting for the AN line, but we should be pretty good. This thing actually has a lot of clearance. Of course, I don't have it bolted in all the way or even connected, but I really wanted to test fit it just to make sure if there's any other adjustments or anything I was gonna run into. So far, it looks pretty cool. Now that the TTR intake manifold has been test fitted, we had no fitment issues, it fit perfect. Uh, all the factory components will go right in the spot they need to. A little bit of modification there and I'll show you um, when we do the final installation. It did clear the radium engineering catch can which I was concerned about, but uh, the only thing I have to adjust on that is the top nut with the A and fitting, just to make sure the hose clears. 
I do want to go over some of the things I have in front of me here is the brand new factory baskets from Ford. You can reuse the old ones, but I always recommend installing new ones. They're pretty cheap and you can get them anywhere, dealership or online. I'm also going to be installing uh, some aesthetic items. Uh, these are titanium bolts from Pro Bolt. I have the upgraded throttle body. This is 63 millimeters. I uh, don't know what the factory one is, but it is uh, quite a bit bigger when I matched it up. I got the kit from Damon Motorsports. It comes with a harness and a new gasket and throttle body. You can bolt it on, but no tune needed. You just bolt it on. It did crease the throttle response a little bit, but we did get the car retuned and it did make quite a bit of difference. So we'll be throwing this on with the TTR intake manifold as well. Another thing I wanted to kind of note is the throttle body adapter that TTR sends. You can tell that there's still kind of a lip. It doesn't affect airflow or anything because it's it's going to be going the other direction. But I might smooth this out, just make it port matched. Now that I ported out the throttle body to match the throttle body adapter, did a pretty decent job. Not a professional, but I got it pretty good. And I went ahead and just polished the inlet as well. So let's see if these match up. And as you can see, everything matches up pretty good. So now that we got the TTR intake manifold back from coating, overall we're pretty happy with it. I already installed the throttle body adapter with some titanium. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the installation on this. I'm going to go ahead and get the adapters put on, get the map sensor put on, and build the hoses for the catch can. So let's get started on that. So what I have right here is the AN line and the AN fittings that I'm converting the catch can to. So I wanna put these together. So generally when I do these, um, I kinda of cheat. I don't use a special tool or anything. There's several different ways and there's no really wrong or right way to do it. One looks a little more professional and one looks a little more redneck. But I usually try to get these pressed on. Sometimes you can get these to go on by hand, but it's pretty hard. So what I found out is put a little piece of tape electrical tape what I use for the cuts just leave that on there and then I'm going to take an impact with a size so this one happens to be a 19 and I'll just put it right in there and what I'll do is I'll take the hose kind of press it in there get it started do a small spin and then push and then release and as you can see uh, you may not be able to see in there, but the hose is flush. It doesn't tear up the hose. The tape kind of gets torn up. That's what's in my hand right here. That's what came off there, just electrical tape, which is fine. But the nylon thread and everything that covered is fine, so we're good to go. So I just kind of get the thread started on both sides. You really want to make sure you thread this by hand first. So another thing to pay attention to when you're threading these on you wanna make sure that the hose isn't pushing out of the fitting right here. If, you, if that's happening, then that means you don't have enough grip with your fittings. So make sure you get good quality fittings. These fittings are vibrant performance fittings, which a little costly, but they're well worth it. So let me get these tightened and then we'll test fit it back on the catch can. All right, so now we have the intake manifold back together. We've got the map sensor on, all the factory connections I needed. 
the catch can A in line with the adapter, the titanium bolts that we were gonna put on there for some bling. Didn't have any for the throttle body, but you're not gonna see those anyways. Uh, the throttle body's on. I did the port to match to the intake manifold, which was great, as you saw earlier. So at this point, it's ready to bolt on. The last thing I have to do is the side fitting with the check valve. And once I get that done, I should be able to bolt this on and everything will look good. So let's get started on that. So now that I have the TTR intake manifold installed and all my AN lines installed as well, everything fitted really, really good. So we don't have any issues there. Everything's bolted up. And here in a second, I'll do a close up so you guys can see exactly what I did. And then after that, we'll get the car started, get it warmed up, and then we'll go for a test drive. All right, here is the intake manifold finished. It's completely installed. It has all the connections hooked up to it is this is for the blow-off valve, for the HKS blow-off valve that we have with the CPE cold side piping. Did all the A in lines on the catch can as you guys saw at the beginning of this video. And then I also completed the factory hose with the check valve I was talking about earlier in this video as well. So all that is done, hooked up. Alright guys, it's that time. We're going to go on a test drive, test out the manifold, see how it feels, make sure the car is in good shape, do some pulls. Alright, so far driving impressions, uh, the car drives great, it has good mid-range, the throttle response is actually pretty good. Like I said, I had the 63 millimeter throttle body on it before on the in stock intake manifold, but on this one it definitely made a difference. So, so far, so good. Um, I want to get to a road where I can do some pulls and we'll see how the boost pressures are and see how it does. All right, third gear pull, sitting around 3,500 RPMs. Let's see how she does. So the manifold is doing great. The mid range is great. The top end is amazing. And the throttle response is actually phenomenal from the, where it was on the stock manifold. I do have the 63 millimeter upgraded throttle body. Uh, so I would say this manifold is a great upgrade for this car. It definitely feels really good and it pulls hard. Boost pressures are stable, they're the same. It's not any lag here. So I'm really happy with it. So with that said, you know, I'm really curious to see what this car is gonna be like once it gets retuned. We are an E30 tuned from Tune Plus, but it is gonna get retuned because we're gonna do a couple other modifications and I wanna change the plenum uh, calibration in the tune as well to match this intake manifold. So that really concludes this video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.